Welcome in y'all. Um, all the videos that I'm doing today are requests from y'all. And uh, what'd you tell me about the basic meatloaf recipe? I got a bunch of meatloaf recipes, y'all. It's got five star ratings. It's got five star ratings. And it's like 200, that's like a 250 ratings. Out of 250 your, ratings. And it's one of your most searched recipes. One of my most searched recipes. So okay. that's the one I'm gonna share with y'all on today's video. Now I'm gonna just spray this pan lightly. And uh, so did I tell y'all what I'm making? <laughs> Basic meatloaf. And I think, I'm pretty sure that uh, this is Aunt Peggy's recipe. So, <clears throat> you see me putting down bread and you're probably thinking, Paula, have you lost your mind? What's going on? Uh, I'm putting the bread down so it can work as like a sponge. That bread is gonna uh, soak up any fat from this ground beef because, you know, I, I just don't want my, my uh, meatloaf cooking in a bunch of grease. So that's a good trick uh, to keep in mind, even if I'm doing it on a cookie sheet, you know, I'll just cover the cookie sheet with bread. And that'll be it. All right, now let's see, I need a bowl. I tell you, a meatloaf that uh, everybody seemed to love at the Lady and Sons and that was our cheesy meatloaf. Oh, and it was so, so good. And uh, so if you wanna try something different. Now, how much meatloaf is this uh, ground beef? Just a pound. All right, so I'm gonna add a half a cup of just instant oatmeal. You know, the oatmeal that cooks in five minutes, like I use for my oatmeal cookies. And I'm going to add my onion and my bell pepper and I'm going to add one egg so you know I'm going to be honest I don't normally use a recipe for my meatloaf, and, and I never like it. I never like all meatloaf. So, uh, I think that when I make meatloaf from now on, I just need to break down and follow a recipe. And like I said, I think this one, this one is from my Aunt Peggy, and uh, everybody seems to love it. All right, so I'm gonna add my egg. And I'm gonna add, let's see, one and a fourth teaspoons of salt. So I'm gonna lump it up a little bit and that should be it. And a uh, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So not much of that. So let me hear from y'all. I, I want to know what y'all are doing out there. Cause I don't get out much anymore. <laughs> How about y'all? Uh, so I really do want to hear from you. You know, we, we started years ago, when I say we, I mean, you know, my family, uh, started using oatmeal as a tightener for our meatloafs. So to me, this is the best way to just get in there with your hands and get it all mixed up together. And the cookbook, I say um, a can, uh, eight ounce can of diced tomatoes. And you know, I don't even know if they make an eight ounce can of diced tomatoes. So I'm just using tomato sauce. And then we're gonna cook it in this loaf pan. 
And of course, you know about the bread. I told you about that. So I want to hear from y'all. I want to know what y'all are doing out there. Make sure. Come on, Paula, you can do it. <laughs> A pound of hamburger meat is hard to <laughs> hard to hold on to. I want to just make sure I get that bottom smooth and kind of molded together. And then I'm gonna put it in here on top of my bread. And then I'll be able to finish molding it. Okay. Trying to get the air pockets out of it now. onion and bell pepper left. So I'll just put that on there. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here with a knife and just make sure it's packed in down there. And on top of that bread perfectly well. I left the water running, didn't I, Eddie? <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so the topping that uh, we use on our meatloaf is my favorite part, y'all. So I'm going to just mix together. That's probably a half a cup of uh, ketchup and two tablespoons of brown sugar and a tablespoon of mustard. So you got that, that sweet, almost like a caramelized topping on your meatloaf. And you know, one of my favorite sandwiches in the whole world, y'all, is uh, a meatloaf sandwich. So I always try to make a little bit more meatloaf than I know we're really gonna need so I can have my sandwich on white bread with mayonnaise. It's so good. Okay. Pour that on top. And we're gonna bake this for one hour at 350 degrees. Just gonna help spread it just a little bit. Using my fingers. every bit of that topping on there. I don't want to miss a drop of that. All right, 350 degree oven for one hour. This is gonna be delicious with some cornbread. All right, I'm gonna set the timer because I sure don't want that to overcook. There we go. It's just that simple, y'all. Okay, friends, I want y'all to look at this meatloaf. It looks so delicious. I'm not gonna cut it though, because this is supper 
here at the Dean Groover house tonight. <laughs> but I can promise y'all it's very good. So let me hear from you. I want to hear what you do. Uh, help me out, because like I said, if, when I just throw my meatloaves together, I don't think they're all that great. So I want to hear from you, and I will try your recipe, and of course, I will give you the kudos for it. <laughs> I love and best dishes, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.